Hello, welcome, and let's get started. Step two will be the upper sole. I am using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Start in the center stitch of the heel. We will insert the hook into the back loop only. Draw up your yarn and chain one. Single crochet in the same stitch. And then do a single crochet in each stitch, back loop only, all the way around. Be sure to pause the video at different times to catch up. In the first three rows, you will have the same amount of stitches. For size small, 87, size medium, 91, size large, 95, and size extra large, 97. When you have reached the last stitch, do a slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet to join. Chain 1, start in the same stitch. This time we will do the single crochet going through both loops. We will then single crochet all the way around. We will do a slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet to join. So we will not put it into the slip stitch from below or the chain one, but we will put it into the top of the first single crochet and a slip stitch. We can now chain one and repeat for two more rows for four rows total. Do not join at the end of the fourth row. Cut your yarn and pull through. We will create an invisible close. This will also be an extra stitch. With your darning needle, insert your needle into the top of the first single crochet that you made.
Then put the needle into the back of the last single crochet you made and pull snug. Weave in both of your ends. I like to take my starting end, pull it back through to the front and then insert it into the stitch behind just for a cleaner look. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You now have an extra stitch in your last row. Your count will be as follows. For size small, you'll have 88 stitches, size medium 92, size large 96, and size extra large 98. Let's continue. We will now find the center two stitches of the toe and place a marker. I just use an extra piece of yarn, but you can use any marker that you like. Another way to find the center is to fold the sole in half and see what comes up at the point. We will now divide the sole into thirds, just using our eyes. Find approximately one third from the toe and insert your hook into the second row from the bottom. We will now do slip stitches all the way around to the other side, one third from the toe. So keeping your yarn in the back, you will insert into the front, pull up the yarn and do a slip stitch. Continue this all the way around into that row until you've reached one third from the opposite side. When you've come to the other side, just one stitch short of being a third, it doesn't have to be exact, let go of the loop and pull to the back. We will insert the hook from behind and pull this loop to the back. Make sure you have enough tension or long enough to pull it to the top row. We will then let go of the loop again putting our hook into the top row we will then pull that loop up we can now continue with slip stitches all the way around the top this time we will go the entire way around
Stop when you have one stitch remaining. Just give yourself a little bit of tension and cut your yarn. We will now bring the loop to the back, inserting your yarn into the first part where we started. Take your loop and pull it to the back. We can now pull our end through our loop, pull snug and weave our ends. Step three, the sides. From the marker, we will count down each side and place another marker. For size small and medium, we will count down 10 stitches and place another marker. And on the other side, counting again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and placing the marker. For sizes large and extra large, we will count down 12 stitches on each side to place the marker. We will then start one stitch over from the marker. Insert your hook into the back loop only. Draw up your yarn. Pull up a loop, chain one, and single crochet into that same stitch. Single crochet in the back loop only until you have reached the other marker. Stop in the stitch before the marker. You can now remove your side markers. Keep the center marker for the toe in place. For row 1, size small will be 68 single crochet, medium 72 single crochet, large 72 single crochet, and extra large will be 74 single crochet. Chain 1 and turn. Starting in the first stitch, we will do one single crochet all the way to the other side, one in each stitch. Row 2 will have the same amount of stitches as row 1. We will then chain 2 and turn. On our next row, we will single crochet in the third stitch from the end. This space that we made is going to be an eyelet for the laces. Single crochet all the way across until you have three stitches left.
For row 3, you will have the following amount of single crochets. When you have reached that amount, you will have 3 stitches left. You will now chain 2. Then in the last single crochet, you are going to do a slip stitch and then turn. We will then put one slip stitch in each of the chain two. This can be a little tricky, so put a slip stitch in the first chain and a slip stitch into the next chain. We can then start our single crochets, starting in the first single crochet and then all the way across until we have three stitches left. Here we have created another eyelet. Row 4 will have the following amount of single crochets. When you have reached the end with the three stitches remaining, chain 2, and then we will slip stitch in the last stitch or single crochet. So slip stitch into there and turn. We will now put one slip stitch in each of the chain two. Again, single crochet in the first stitch and all the way across until you have three stitches left. Row 5 will have the following amount of single crochet. Chain 2, slip stitch into the last single crochet, and turn. Now do a slip stitch into each chain, and we will begin our next row. Row 6 will have the following amount of single crochet. Chain 2, slip stitch into the last single crochet, and turn. Slip stitch into each chain. For row 7, we will now do a decrease. Start row 7 with the following amount of single crochets for the size of your slipper. This decrease will be for all sizes. We will start with two single crochet together. Then a single crochet. Followed by two more single crochet together. then a single crochet, then two, two single crochet together, one, two, followed by a single crochet, and one more two single crochet together. Then finish row 7 with the following amount of single crochets for your size. Your total amount of stitches for row 7 will be as follows. At the end of row 7, you will chain 2. Then slip stitch into the last single crochet, turn, slip stitch in the next 2 chains. One, and two. 
we will now begin row 8. Row 8 will have the following amount of single crochet. At the end we will chain 2, slip stitch into the last single crochet, and turn. Then slip stitch into the next two chains. We are going to repeat this pattern until we've reached the end of row 15. We'll let you know how many stitches are in each row and we'll see you at the end of row 15. On row 15, we will stop with 3 stitches remaining. Chain 2 and slip stitch into the first space and turn. Slip stitch into each of the chains. We will then slip stitch into the next 2 stitches to finish off. Cut your yarn and pull through. Weave in your top end as normal. Weave your beginning end into the first chain 2 that you made. This will make it more secure. Your slipper should now look like this. We will now crochet an edge along the slipper. Insert your hook and pull up a loop. Chain 1. Then do one single crochet and another single crochet to start. We will then put two single crochets in each space and one single crochet in between the spaces. So you have to just find that little space. And then continue two single crochets in each eyelet and then one single crochet in the space. Continue to the top. At the top corner stitch we will put two single crochet. You can now see the seven eyelets very well defined. Continue with one single crochet in each stitch until you reach the next top corner.
We will then place two single crochets in that top corner. Working down the side, we will put two single crochet in each eyelet space and one single crochet in between. At the end, we will put two single crochet. We can then cut our yarn and pull through. Weave in your ends. We will now move on to step four, the toe and the tongue. This first section will be for size small and medium. Skip ahead for size large and extra large. This is what your finished project will look like. Let's start with the toe. I will be using a different color of yarn to make it easier to see. Let's start with the magic circle. There are many ways to do this. You can pick the easiest one that works best for you. In the magic circle, we will begin with a chain one and then put six single crochet in the circle. Pull snug. We will then do a chain one and turn. Starting in the first stitch, we're going to put one single crochet in each stitch for a total of six single crochet. We will then chain one and turn. Starting in the first stitch, we are going to do two half double crochets in each stitch. Total of 12 stitches for this row. Chain one and turn. Starting in the first stitch, let's do three single crochet, one in each of the next three stitches. We will then put two single crochet in the next stitch, and we're going to do this six times. That's two times. Three. Four. Five. And this will be the last two. 
six. Then we will finish this row with three single crochet. You will have a total of 18 stitches in this row. Chain one and turn. Starting in the first stitch again, we will start with eight single crochet. and that will be number eight. In the next two stitches, we will put two single crochet in each one. So two single crochet, and again, two single crochet. Follow this with eight single crochet. We will then chain one and turn sideways. Working along the bottom of the toe, we are going to put 12 single crochet. I like to put stitch six and seven in the middle of the circle. chain one and turn. Now we will do 12 single crochet, one in each one, starting in the first stitch. When you have finished, leave a tail of about 18 inches or 46 centimeters. Cut your yarn and pull through. Tighten your magic circle and weave this end only. I hope this was easier to see with the gray, but we will now continue with our white toe. We will now add the tongue portion. Insert your yarn in the second stitch from the end. Pull up a loop and chain one. Starting in that same stitch, do a single crochet and 10 single crochet across. We will then repeat this pattern.
Continue until you have approximately 28 rows, 6.5 inches, or 17 centimeters. For our last row, we will do a chain one and turn. We will skip the first stitch and do a single crochet in the second, followed by another single crochet. We will then do a half double crochet, then a double crochet, another double crochet, half double crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and a slip stitch to finish. We have created a nice curve for the top of the tongue. You can now cut your yarn and pull through. Weave both your yellow ends. With a new piece of yarn, insert your hook into the end stitch. Pull up a loop and single crochet all the way around the tongue. Put one single crochet in the end of each row. Put two single crochet in each corner. Finish with a slip stitch and weave your yellow ends. We will now show you step four of the toe and tongue for size large and extra large. Start with a magic circle. There are many different ways to make this magic circle. Find one that's easiest for you. Chain one and begin with single crochet inside the magic circle. Do six single crochet. Pull snug. Chain one and turn. Starting in the first stitch, do six single crochet, one in each stitch across. Chain one and turn. Starting again in the first stitch, we will start with half double crochet, putting two half double crochet in each stitch.
chain one and turn. For the next row, we will do half double crochet again. We will start by doing three half double crochet, one in each of the next three stitches, followed by two half double crochet in each of the next six stitches, and finishing with three half double crochet. That will be my fifth one, and now this is the sixth, and then three half double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain one and turn. Starting in the first stitch, we will start with eight half double crochet. We will then do two half double crochet in the next stitch, and then two half double crochet in the next stitch, and then we will finish this row with eight half double crochet. For our last round, we will chain one and turn. We will then start with four single crochet. We will then put two single crochet in the next stitch, and then four more single crochet. We will now put two single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Then we will do four single crochet. It's three, four, two single crochet in the next, and then four single crochet to finish this round. This round will have 24 stitches. Chain one and turn sideways. We will then do 16 single crochet evenly along the bottom. I like to put the middle number eight and number nine right in that center magic circle stitch.
We will then chain one and turn. Starting in the first stitch, we will do 16 single crochet across. Leave a tail of about 18 inches or 46 centimeters. Cut your yarn and pull through. Tighten the magic circle and weave this end only. Insert yarn in second stitch from the end. Pull up a loop and chain one. Do 14 single crochet across. Chain one, turn, and then repeat. Continue this pattern until you have reached about 32 rows, 7.5 inches or 20 centimeters. Chain 1 and turn. Skip the first stitch and put a single crochet in the next, followed by another single crochet, one half double crochet, six double crochet, three, four, five, and six, and then we will do a half double crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and then a slip stitch to join. Now we have created a nice curve for the top of the tongue. Cut your yarn and pull through. Weave in your red ends. Starting with a new piece of yarn, insert your hook into the end stitch. Pull up a loop, chain one, and single crochet all the way around the tongue. Put one single crochet in the end of each row.
When you've reached the corner, put two single crochet into each corner. Finish with a slip stitch and weave your red ends. We can now attach the tongue to the slipper. Find the center two stitches of the toe and place a marker. Match up your markers. Place the toe part inside the slipper. Now just match up your stitches until you have reached the end. The two extra rows of the toe will be attached behind the sides. After attaching the side, turn your work. Place your needle into the back loop of the trim and through both loops of the toe. Continue this all the way around. Finish the other side just like the start, putting the first two rows of that toe piece behind the side.
tie off and weave your end on the inside of the slipper. Step 5, the star. This is how the beginning part will look. For the star, I am using a smaller 3.75 millimeter F hook. I will also be using just a different color of yarn so it's easier to see. Let's start with the magic circle. Chain one and work five single crochet into the circle. Pull snug. We will then join our circle. We are going to do a slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. Chain one and start in the same stitch. We will put two double crochet in each stitch. Slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet. Chain 1. Now we will put 2 single crochet in each stitch. There will be 20 stitches total in this round. To join, slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. Chain one and start in the same stitch. For this row, we will do one single crochet and then two single crochet in the next and then repeat this pattern for 30 stitches total. Do not join at the end of this round. Leave a tail of about 18 inches or 46 centimeters. Cut your yarn and pull through. We will finish this round with an invisible close. With your darning needle, place it through your first stitch that you made in the round and then back into the last one that you made.
cut about a 40 inch or one meter piece of black yarn. Thread your darning needle. Start between your single crochet stitches. Bring your yarn up from behind and just follow the pattern along with me. Count eight spaces down. Then count four spaces and bring your darning needle up. Make sure you are going into the correct space. Pretty soon you will see our star take shape. You will now bring the darning needle up from the back into the center and we will fill in the star. Keep doing this until the star is full. When you have finished, tie your black ends. You do not need to weave them. Cut another piece of yarn about 40 inches or one meter and split it into two pieces. We just need a thinner yarn to do this next part. Insert your hook and pull up the yarn and slip stitch all the way around, just into the top row.
pull your loop to the back and tie your ends. We can now attach the star. Place the star on the side of your slipper. Pull your short end to the inside and we will tie that off later. With our darning needle we will weave in and out to attach the star. Try to just take a small piece of yarn from the slipper and then bring your needle up through the edge of the star. Then bring it back down the next stitch and repeat this all the way around. Once you've gone all the way around, bring your end to the inside and the middle. We can now tie the ends together. Bring your yarn back to the front and just weave it into a spot to make it come up through, just like this. And then we can just cut our yarn. This way we have attached it so you see no ends. It's nice from the outside and it's perfect on the inside with no stitches showing. Step six, the laces. We will start with a slip knot. Chain approximately 220 to 250 stitches. It'll be about 55 to 60 inches or 140 to 150 centimeters. Once you have reached the end, we will just slip stitch back through each chain. When you have reached back to the beginning, just cut your yarn and weave in your ends.
Thank you.